If you know me, or you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I love canoeing. In fact, I have more than a few canoes. The biggest pain in the butt about it is getting it on and off the top of my truck and back into storage every time I go to use them. So I'm thinking to myself, I need a canoe trailer. Something I can store the canoes on when I'm not using them, but easily hook up and then get to where I want to go to go canoeing when I want to. Now I do have a trailer. This one's been sitting in my yard for a couple years unused. I took it as a uh, partial payment on a job I had done because he was a little cash poor. Um, but it's kind of a useless trailer. I don't know what it's good for. It's so small it's probably good for hauling donuts or something. I've never had a need to use it. But I think I can turn this into a pretty nice canoe trailer. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So the first thing I'll do is get a piece of paper and pencil and roughly draw what I'm going to have to do to turn this useless trailer into something I can use, like a canoe trailer. First thing I'll have to do is get rid of this tongue. I'll have to lengthen that out and some angle there. That should be plenty strong. So I'll take these measurements and head down to the steel uh, scrap. So I picked up everything I need and probably a little more, all for a little over 60 bucks. I think we'll start with the tongue. I took the old tongue off. That way it'd be easy to mark the new holes on the new tongue with a black marker. So I got the new coupler and the tongue and the wiring put onto the trailer. Now I'm going to measure out all my trees and supports and start cutting. Everything's cut out and ready to go. I've got a pretty good pile of ends and pieces here, but I'll keep them handy. I'll use this to bolster up strength on the uh, trees themselves and even the trailer, just for reinforcement. And just so you guys know that I occasionally do stupid, really stupid things, I'm really glad that I pre-wired this trailer because when I was getting the wire out of the way, I actually put it up on uh, on top of one of the posts. So I'm going to have to cut the wires and rewire it anyway. So that's just great. That's just great. I welded in some extra steel on the back of the trailer just to support that uh, rear tree. We got all my welds done on the bottom of the trailer now. trunks put on. We can move on to the uh, to the limbs themselves. That's it, all the major welding's done. I always like taking the time to add the little things that'll make the job easier in the long run. Like this handle I put up front, make it easy to carry the trailer around, but it also serves as a great anchor point in case I want to put some tension on the front of the canoes that I'm hauling. Made sure the trailer wire was secure by welding up some tabs all the way from the trailer and up the tongue. I was originally going to add some supports on the front tree and the back tree, but after testing it out and even sitting on these bars, you know, I'm 210 pounds, it seems pretty stiff and strong. So I'm going to forego that part of the plan. I sprayed all the weld points with a rust converter and sealant. Now it's time to put some primer on and paint it. That looks a lot better with a couple coats of enamel on it, and I sprayed the bed with liner as well. Now I'm going to put some padding on the, uh, the limbs of the trees themselves. I slipped pipe insulation over the bars and then wrapped them with electric tape. This will last for years like this and it'll really take the wear and tear 
out of traveling with your canoes. I put an open box on the back too just to make it a little easier to haul coolers or dry bags to my destination. And lastly I got rid of that bucket. I think we're about ready to add some canoes now. And there we go. I've got my canoe storage and my transport. This makes it much easier to access the canoes when strapping them down and taking them off. Now, I was able to build this in less actual labor time than the average American spends watching TV every day, which is about five and a half hours. Having said that, this took a couple more hours in time to build than it would have taken to go in and buy a gun somewhere. But this actually takes skill, whereas the other two don't. And that is what prepping is all about. You're just hungry, aren't you? You're just hungry. <laughs> you eat like a horse. Following me?